Hey, hey, hey. What's up, everyone? It's your boy Jermaine back with another video. And today we are exploring downtown Oakland. Yes. We're gonna walk around Oakland. This is gonna be a longer video. We're gonna go go off to downtown, check out some different areas. Right over here, we're by Lake Merritt. Very popular place to hang out in Oakland. This is a really big lake. It looks to be looks to be a little low right now. Yeah, from from far far away, it looks to be a little low. We got a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of stuff around to look at. That cool bike lane right there that they built recently. I believe the last time I was walking, uh, last time I came through here, I think I was cycling along this path. And then now I have this bike lane. It's been some time since I cycled around Lake Mary. But yeah, Oakland is, Oakland is a hidden gem. I live in SF and I, I don't come to Oakland much. Don't exactly don't know why because Oakland is it, it has a, a lot to offer. You know, it's um, it's a very very different place than the city. But then they have so much in common. But then it, then they don't. You know, there's a lot of cool places to live here. There's a lot of different neighborhoods versus the city. The city is all the city. You know, but here over here in the East Bay, you got you got so many different communities. You got Oakland. You got West Oakland, you got East Oakland, you got, uh, you, you keep going farther north, you got Richmond, and then you, before Richmond, you got Berkeley, and oh, there's a lot of places around. So for now, we are just going to, we're gonna go zigzag through here a little bit, go on a little walk. We'll go um, off the beaten path. There's some, there's a new, uh, new area where they built a lot of new a lot of new like um not really high-rise buildings but these more like these maybe like 10-story buildings right over in this other area it looks like a whole new community we'll cross and go check it out looks like i should probably cross the button wait or no go this way and cross the button no go this way and cross cross the button Oh, let's see. Can I make it? 15, 14, 13, 12. I think I can make it. And if I can't make it, I should be able to make it. <laughs> All right. We can go this way. And there is a shortcut. And it'll take us back out to that main street that's right down to the right. I could walk that way, but I want to just go this way. It's a different route. Like I say, we're going to go off the beaten path a little bit. We're going to explore Oakland because Oakland is a is definitely a place to explore. Oh my gosh, guys, you know what I just did like 30 minutes ago? I just dropped my iPad on the ground and completely destroyed it, yo. Completely destroyed it. So I'm like so bummed out about that. I'm like, no. In my last iPad, I had Apple Care and this one I did not get Apple Care for some reason. Oh well, I'll deal with it when the next iPad comes out. Let's actually go through here. Now look at this building. Let's go through here. There's um, I don't know what this thing is on the right. This structure here. But we can do a little walk around. Oh, that's a church. Huh. There's this building behind. Let's actually go through here. Oh my gosh, it's just, Oakland is so much different from 
San Francisco. It smells so much better in Oakland. <laughs> you know, I was in the city earlier and there's like this smell like right to the city right now. I, I can't really explain it, but it does not smell good in Oakland. I ain't got that vibe. Wow, where is this? I've actually never been here before. It's like exploring a new place. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, this is cool. Sure hope I don't get canceled for having a church in my video. <laughs> All right, so let's continue to go this way. Oh, that's Kaiser. That's what that building is. It's a big shiny building there. Let's continue to go this way because we're going to get to that main street and then on that main street there's that that whole new subdivision I was talking about that's like weird because it's like all brand new and I don't know if it, I don't know for sure if people live there I mean I don't know I haven't been here in a long time probably people live there but just I remember back back a couple years ago when I saw that area they're like building everything it just looked really looked really odd and people were protesting it they said that you know the housing was too expensive or something like that I don't know there's um protest protesting is like a sport here like it is it's like an Olympic competition wow look how quiet it is it is here holy moly yo, there's like no one around it's pretty dope it's pretty cool. It feels so good out right now. The weather is amazing. Let's continue. Let's go this way. This is that new neighborhood I was talking about. Let's go check it out. Let's go explore. I've actually had a couple jobs in this building here. Yeah, very, um, this is a pretty, pretty cool building actually. Like lots of different levels and you know, different stuff, different things to do. Um, a, 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 amenities in other words. I'm trying to say that building has a lot of amenities.
have them. It's one of those neighborhoods that you don't see anyone walking in. <laughs> Not one person. This, is, oh, this Oakland's like a ghost town, yo. I mean, someone go ahead and put it in the chats, yo. I, um, I, I don't get it. Maybe everyone's not here. Maybe they all moved to LA. That's it. They all went to LA. They said, yo, Oakland versus LA. We're going to go to LA. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's looks to be kind of looks to be kind of quiet out right now. Last time I came here was a while ago. Like, I want to say like two years ago before the pandemic and don't look like don't look like really anything has changed. Like there's no, there's no businesses open here. Maybe there's some businesses farther down when we walk, but this is kind of a tough place to live, you know, when, I mean, it's cool because it's brand new and modern, but then once again, like it's not much of a community. There's not a lot of businesses and it's top dollar, I'm sure. I'm sure it's gonna be like the most expensive around here. Wow, look at all these places like that are just vacant. And I, th this whole area has been here for a little bit. Like this is not like, it didn't just open yesterday. It's been open for some time. And I just can't believe like how many vacancies there are. But we also got to think about something too, like Mission Bay neighborhood in, um, in San Francisco is very similar. Like there's a lot of new buildings that have opened, but the businesses haven't moved in yet. I mean, it could be because, you know, rents are crazy expensive. You guys know how rent, rent prices are now. It seems like it, they just keep going up, you know. Have all these new buildings and you have like this 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 like old school building right here oh, look at that one oh yes we have some shops here yeah it looks like there's a, there's a shop across the street there i think that's the first shop we have seen on this whole little strip. Are there any, it's like no restaurants or anything. Once again, if we just go a couple streets over, we'll find restaurants, we'll find bars. There's like a Whole Foods right straight down on that building, there's a Whole Foods there. So it's not exactly like um, a food desert. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. Um, there's definitely stuff around, but I would, would, would think that maybe some things would have moved over on this street because you got to think like we just walked down this street here and there's like no businesses but also the, not only are there no businesses there, there's no one walking on this street now if there was businesses on this street that would be a different a different story because now people are like yo let's go to that restaurant what street is it on it's on this street now there's going to be people walking there's going to be delivery people there's going to be um the post office dropping off mail there's going to be ups there's going to be life but right now there's not even there's like no one walking on the street like there's no life around you know it's kind of insane like it's you just open a couple businesses and over time like it, it, the place starts to expand and it starts to grow and then it, it becomes a place that people call home and it's a place that people don't want to leave and yeah <laughs> that's what we got going on or that's what this area needs to happen so it uh, for it to you know get going good and then look at this place this place is pretty cool right next right next door to this like all modern building Now, if I'm not mistaken, up ahead, I forget the name of this street. I used to live in Oakland, but I, like I said, I live in the city now. I don't come to Oakland much. But whatever the name of this street is, this is um, it's a really big protest a couple years ago. And there's a Target in this building. Holy moly, they destroyed that freaking Target, y'all. And it had like just opened. And they completely destroyed it. Like, it's kind of funny that how they, 
<laughs> how they destroyed it. Like the place looked a wreck on the, like, like on, with the photos. I came over the next morning to see it. And it was a Mercedes Benz dealership they completely destroyed too. They stole a couple of the cars. It's actually a Mercedes Benz dealership and a Honda dealership. They basically like stole cars and broke all the windows and I don't they did a lot of uh a lot of crazy a lot of crazy shit, you know? But I'm gonna keep it real, like that's, that's just kinda how it is over over in some places, you know, they get wild and rowdy and crazy and I mean, yeah, you know, there's levels to it. <laughs> I ain't on another level around here. I mean, I'm not knocking anymore or anything. I'm just keeping it how, how I'm just keeping it real, you know. They they tore that place apart, yo. Know? All these places, the Target, the dealerships, everything. I thought it was crazy to see them stealing cars from the dealership. I'm like, did the dealership literally leave the car, the keys in the car with the car on the showroom floor? It's like, yo, aren't these like the mechanical keys? You know, not the key you stick in, but like the key you just have in the car. Like, who, whose idea was it to leave it in the freaking car? Maybe they wanted the people to steal the freaking car, right? I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Look at this big, big building over here they're building. That's a big building on a whole nother level. That's like a pretty massive building. It's bike line. Oh, it's like so quiet right now. Now, I am filming this in the middle of the week, okay? Um, if I was filming this on the weekends, the area I just walked through, I don't think it would be much different. I don't think it would be much of a difference. Maybe Lake Merritt would be a lot busier, but this whole area, no, it, it wouldn't be too prone. Um, but, you know, other parts of, other parts of, um, other parts of Oakland would definitely be a whole lot different, especially on the weekends. If you hit up like Telegraph, Broadway, you hit up places like that. Yeah, this is that Target over here that they put. I actually thought it was gonna go out of business. If I'm not mistaken, all of these windows were smashed out. Like every single one was smashed out. I'll have to like go back and look at photos. Oh wow, look at that place over there. It's all boarded up and this place is all graffitied. <laughs> wow, Oakland's a trip, yo. That's a cool place. It's a cool place to explore. So anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thanks a lot for watching. We got another walking tour down. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, yo. Ow!